welcome to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And today we're going to look for a Champions League program. Yeah, it'll be the last of the group uh, qualifying uh, programs. We're going to have a look at. We're going to look at uh, PSG, of course, that was played. So I'm going to have a look at this one. This this one here. It's played on the 24th of November 2021. Of course, good result. Good result. What's the program like? Usually, the last one was very very good. Actually, the last Champions League one there. They, they put a little bit more history in it. This is going a bit more. Back to the sort of league style, to be honest with you. There's not quite as much uh, hit apart for obviously Gary James, of course. We can always rely on Mr. James to produce the history, but uh, again, uh, so not disappointing, but not not quite what I was hoping for, to be honest with you. Uh, so we're going to have a look at that. Please tune into my away day programs where I actually rank the programs as well. There's a that's my like little sister feature. This is the match day program watch home version. So obviously we just have a quick look through anything, and you can go on to Reach Sports and subscribe to this. And if you just subscribe, you can actually get to uh, twenty. Is it twenty five p? Yeah, they work out three pound twenty five if you go on to Reach and subscribe, as opposed to three fifty a program. There are some. I do have delivery problems in my area, but I mean obviously I'm not going to say. You're doing yours. I do have a lot of not just uh, match day programs, but I do have uh, magazine subscriptions, and occasionally I, I don't get one or, or the other. And it's the same with this. Obviously, I'm getting you know sometimes one or two a week from Reach, and uh, they're having they actually having to redo stuff and send it out. But I don't think it's a Reach problem. I think it's just purely a postage problem where I am. But uh, so so be careful. But as I say they're they're the best guys to get them from. And as I say, I get them all the home pram programs because the goal was obviously I don't always get the away ones. So I do rely on them. Anyway, let's get on with this. Let's have a look at this program. Three pound fifty for eighty four pages, of course. With Mr. Foden on the cover, yeah, so what more can we ask? So we start off with Pep. Yes, more praise from Pep. I mean, outside of this programme, he seems to be uh, being very flattering towards the fans. Perhaps some guy in PR has had a quick word uh, to it with him. But, uh, yeah, a little bit more praise in this uh, little little sort of couple of lines, thanking the fans, etc. Hey, there you go. Uh, we're doing quite well for praise from Pep. Uh, I'm a bit worried, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm always, I'm always, uh, I always look on the bad side of things. And uh, when he's been nice like this, <laughs> if anyone's been nice to you guys, be very, very careful, even if it's someone you like. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, there's a little tribute actually to Sir Richard Leese in it as well, who steps down from leader of the City Council soon, uh, well, in December, so just the next month as I'm recording this, uh, sort of have his achievements and, of course, his involvement in the 2002 Commonwealth Games, of course, coming to Manchester and obviously then the, obviously the transfer to Manchester City of the stadium itself. So a nice little tribute uh, from the City magazine to uh, Sir Richard Lees. And no one talks, he's the main interview, talks about the game with PSG and Champions League in general and his hopes for himself and the team uh, moving forward, that's OK. Uh, an interesting fact, yeah, both Leroy Sane and Mesut Ozil came from the same neighbourhood of, as uh, Mr Gundogan back in the day, so that's an interesting one, I wasn't overly aware of that. Uh, Buzzer talks about this game coming up and the last game against PSG. So, again, nothing groundbreaking from Buzzer. like a bit more history from Buzzer. But as I say, he's not asked, he's obviously not asked within the limits of his column to do that. So, we can only he can only do what he's asked. So, yeah, again, Buzzer just talks about this in the last game. Kevin Cummings, of course, is a regular this season in the programme. And he talks about his photographing or imaging of the of the bus coach, yeah, for their first and it and his and his first actually NME cover. I used to re, I used to not subscribe to that back in the day, but I used to buy it when I was a young a young man. So uh, I might have even bought that one. I'm not too sure at the time, but uh, yeah, Kevin Cummings always oh, oh, an interesting thing. Some great photos as well there. Head to head compares Rodri and that old ex United guy Herrera, doesn't it? And it's it just compares them not over the stats for this for the club in general, but just over the four Champions League games. So just one interesting thing. Uh, game passes completed. Rodri completed two hundred and sixty five out of two hundred and seventy seven passes. Herrera completed one hundred and fifty nine. Uh, out of 179 passes. So, yeah, in interesting stats, but it's always good to, to compare. And there's a little bit about each player, of course. Played for both features at the wonderful... The El Le Sulk, was it? Le Sulk, we called him, was it? Nicholas Anelka? A bit unfair, he, he was all right. Sometimes he enjoys scoring a goal. He did He did break into a smile once or twice, I noticed, when he was playing for us. I mean, other guys... There's not a massive uh, links between PSG and City, but others include uh, George Weir, of course, and, uh, of course, who can forget Ali Benabia. 
a fairly recent blast from the past. I must admit, you know, you know me. I like my black and white stuff, but uh, this is this only goes back to 2016. So you you could tint it to black and white. Well, there you go. And it was obviously the meeting with PSG that saw us go through to our first ever semi final. Then, of course, and the KDB goal was enough. Uh, Sergio missed a penalty in the first half. If you remember that, if you were there that night. Uh, yeah, so that that's the blast from the past. A little bit, a bit, a little bit newer than I, I like, but hey, there it is. Uh, a usual look. It is still for the past, isn't it? I mean, last week still the past. As usual, look at the other game in in the group, which is an, always a nice touch. I like that as uh, Brugge played at Leipzig. In, interesting result, of course, as well. But uh, I do like that feature, to be honest. With you. I think I, I like I like to, to do that. I think I think in the main program they should pick up perhaps pick a. Uh, another Premier League team and look at them who they're playing. And, uh, that's just me. I mean, obviously, I, I do moan about lack of you know stuff being in the program that's to do with City, and then I say something like that. But you know what I mean? Just a little bit different, just a little bit quirky to what we normally do. Gary James, of course, it's ever a great uh, a great column from Gary. Well, Callum is he gets uh, certainly four pages every time, and he looks at the larger than life. Of course, the legend. And still is a legend. Obviously, had a few problems there. But Malcolm Allison, of course, and our first tentative steps into Europe uh, under his and Mercer's tenure, of course. So a great little piece from Gary James. Uh, always, always worth buying the three pound fifty or three twenty five. You subscribe just to read the Gary James uh, column. To be honest with you, what's in a name features Cal Walker. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to have a go at the, the sort of uh, how they do this. But, uh, yeah, K. K is for Kieran Dyer. Yeah, his favourite player growing up. Yeah, so that, that was an interesting one for Mr Kyle Walker. But that was easy in what's in a name. And the quiz, yeah, City quiz. I'll give you the answer at the end here. A quick one for you guys. Uh, I'll give you the answer at the end of this uh, vlog. Who beat PSG to the French title last season? There you go. So who was it? Give us, let me know. Answers, answers at the end. You don't have to wait for that one too long. The X features, of course, Ian Brightwell, a bit less hair in that image that, that he had in the day, who talks about, of course, his famous parents. If you didn't know who his famous parents were after all these years, you you probably don't know too much about Sissy. But if you don't, if you're, young, if you're a young fan, find out. Yeah, interesting. Uh, he talks about his famous parents, uh, great games, and especially that goal against United we were there. I think I, I think I might have been in with the United fans in that one. Oh, I can't remember. My memory fades with these United games over that time, but I might it may have been in the city and with the city fans uh, I just can't remember to be honest with you guys but I was there anyway one way or the other uh, obviously it's, it's that special goal against United and his, his views on City's Champions League prospects that's nice and I you know it's nice to hear from from Ian and uh, his views on what's going on at City. Uh, City women, yeah, he's got Karima Tayeb. Tayeb, is that how you pronounce it? He's got, also got had links with PSG, and she talks about both them and City fondly. Uh, so that's a little bit on the City women. Nico Riley on, on the under-18s claims he's got the best haircut of the guys. So I'll let you be the judge of that. I've stuck a, I stuck a uh, <laughs> picture up there. Well, I mean, he's certainly got hair. Uh, I'll give you, I'll give him that, whether it's the best haircut. Hey, uh, if if the lad had come to school with that haircut when I was at school, he would have got a bit of a ribbing. But the days are different, aren't they? That's that's <laughs> that's how it is. Isn't it? Who am I to talk? Uh, Luca Barrington, uh, another young lad, features in the EDS section, in the EDS part. And um, famous last words, yes, happily we're back, you know me, when, when they have an opposing fan, and I have no interest really in this, unless it's, unless it's an opposing fan, I know pretty well, to be honest with you, but obviously we go back to Max George here, obviously yeah, the Wanted's lead singer, uh, obviously, and I like reading some of his stuff of where he first watched City, now he watched City and what he does, etc. Uh, it's most unusual when he was asked about his most unusual places watch City on television obviously as a, as a band singer I mean you have to go with the flow don't you you can't always be there obviously uh, and he said it was an exotic dance bar in Kansas America and it was that game at Stoke City with that wonder Peter Crouch I think I watched that on telly as well uh, that wonder that wonder Peter Crouch goal that you know just one of those goals that you probably wouldn't do that often um, at Stoke City of course And uh, but at least uh, as a, in an exotic dance bar in Kansas Kansas, at least he was somewhere he could sort of uh, drown his sorrows afterwards wasn't he I think we, <laughs> we could have all done with Peter and, uh, well some of was an exotic dance bar in Kansas, Kansas at that time. So there you go. That's the program. Not bad. As I said, I would have prefer, preferred a little bit more uh, Champions League European Cup history. All right. <laughs> Some would say we've not got any, but I'm just, well, European football in general. We've got plenty of European history, haven't we? But uh, 
yeah, so but as as normal, Gary Gary James has come up uh, trumps, and I did enjoy the famous last words, just reading about other city supporter, uh, what his, his likes and dislikes and memories were on in the uh, uh, famous last words column with Max George, of course, but that was good. So that was okay. It was okay. It was not not a bad program. I hope you enjoyed that anyway. And as I say, you can get your subscription from Reach. Uh, just check that. Any problem, just give us a shout. I can give you the further details on it. And the quiz answer before we go. Yeah, who beat PSG to the French title last season? Well, of course, by just one point, it was Lille. Yeah, it doesn't look as though anyone's going to beat them to it this year. I mean, I think they're 11 or 12 points clear as I'm re- recording this. All right, we're only about a third of the way through the season. But, uh, yeah, it, lo- it looks as though they might, unless, unless they implode, it looks as though they're certainly going to win it this season. But, yeah, Lille was the answer to that. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. Until we meet again here on the Citizen Channel, but have a look at my film and TV channel if you get a chance. If you like film and TV, I try and do reviews, information, blogs, lots of different things on there as well. I'll have to do a quiz one day. I've, uh, yeah, I've not done many quiz. I've not done a film quiz for a while. I'll have to do one of those uh, quite soon on there. But uh, yeah, have a check over there if you're interested. If you're not, please join you back on, back here. Join me back here even on the Citizen Channel. I'll join you hopefully back here on the Citizen Channel. Until then, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.